I like the the very severe uh, oh. <laughs> um, sort of disengage that I guess the instrument has. Uh, yeah, it's it's got this severe <laughs> turning off thing now. The click, I got used to it. Uh, yeah, it's like a, a musical boom. Yeah, uh, <laughs> to, it's like a, I'm done uh, playing guitar. I'm gonna get like my yeah, plier out just and just cut the strings. It's like plug it off. <laughs> Because uh, if I don't turn it off, like even if I uh, turn down the volume, you'll still be hearing the hum. It goes like still some. Hmm. It will still play on its own, like for now, a small hum. And I guess because it has a built-in speaker or resonator or something as yeah, well. Yeah, it has a, a transducer. Right, right. Like a surface transducer. And it, you'll still hear it like by itself. Like, I like to amplify it, but... Uh, the initial idea was, you know, for, so I could play it as a self-contained instrument in its, in its whole. So it, the instrument sounds itself like like it was, uh, if it were an acoustic uh, instrument. That was the one of the requirements when I did a list of what do I want to include mm. in this uh, instrument. What's the yeah. rest of that list? Yeah. Uh, well, besides that, the fact that it plays like it has the pick up and play feel, I really wanted. Mm -hmm. that even though you have to you know plug a battery turn it on and everything i wanted it to be um like i wanted it to have a polyphonic feel to mm -hmm. it like more than uh, one kind of sound that you could make and by that you mean time. like more than one kind of type of sound or more than one like note of a sound and or both? maybe more than one layer at a time yeah, yeah. so so what I did was I have this like uh, so I have this notes engine and I also have this drone uh, engine so I can do both <coughs> at the same time uh, and so yeah in that sense I think uh, I, I checked that tick box mm. uh, on the list uh, and I also wanted it to have like a, I don't know a semi feel of electronic but also acoustic in terms mm. of timbre, um, so I, I um, so I also had had this idea to to use the um, the piezo um, going through a carpless uh, mm. strong synthesis and not like the just the simplest uh, feedback um, engine uh, thing. So it goes through a carpless first. The the input uh, goes through the carpless. It excites the mm. thing. Uh, so, like, when you, I guess, what prompted you to make this list? Like, how much of that comes from? Like, we were talking earlier that, like, I guess you have a background as like an instrumentalist. Yeah. Um, like, how much of uh, what you wanted from a digital instrument comes from mirroring what you expected from, let's say, like an acoustic one? Yeah, it came from from there. A lot of the the will to to want to do this because I, I studied violin, and uh, and then I had like a an abrupt shift to electronics just synthesizer and uh and later uh, other electronics and um i i did mi miss this um feel of mm -hmm. an acoustic instrument of picking it up feeling the vibration of the instrument feeling i don't know feeling some sort of uh, feedback and also um the gestural parts of the thing of the instrument not only for me but for performance wise because uh, at some point I was I started thinking about like electronics how uh, hidden uh, what you're doing sometimes mm. gets and I wanted to sort of make my own in electronic instrument that uh, escapes from that hiding what you're doing uh, gesture wise mm -hmm. uh, and you can see everything uh, clearly yeah, at yeah. least i hope so uh, yeah i think i still have to get uh one or two things uh going a bit smoother here or there but uh yeah that, that's also one of the the things that i wanted to do yeah, yeah. I, it's an interesting one because like, i think that's a big a big area of concern or research i guess in the, in the field of like making instruments is like legibility and making processes that you're doing which may be complex or or intertwined or whatever but like uh, it could just involve doing this, you know, so like as an audience person, the audience member, they don't necessarily read what's going on. Yeah. Um, for me, I've never really concerned myself with that too much, but I think part of that has to be 
because a lot of the stuff that I do with code tends to be coupled with a, an acoustic or, or some other kind of instrument anyways. So there's like, I feel like I almost have like a, a cheat with that and that there's already some kind of legibility to mm -hmm. what I'm doing. So like yeah. when I do go push that button, it doesn't really matter, but you can see that I'm doing all this other stuff anyway. So there's like still gesture is still red, even though, I mean, I don't, I've, I mean, I have done some performance, like, like when I use a gamepad, for example, um, it's very illegible and that like, mm -hmm. I mean, you can see that like my hands are moving, but like it's meant, it's designed to be very ergonomic. So like you're meant to just be sitting on your sofa doing this and not doing anything else. So it's like a, a very opaque instrument. So with that one, it's probably the closest to that kind of concern of, of, of having something be projected. Um, my approach is just, I don't, I just sit there and I'm like, I close my eyes and I'm just like zoning off. Um, but it's an interesting yeah. concern because it's obviously when you're designing something from the ground up like this, those criteria like feed into it. So like having haptic feedback, having like a, a, a transducer in there, having um, different types of inputs and spread across the instrument. Like there's a, there's a lot there that I guess, I mean, you designed it and built it, but like are, are sort of legible, not, in, not only in the gesture that you're doing, but the manifestation of the instrument itself. Like this instrument looks this way and acts this way as a manifestation of, of this checklist and these ideas and this sort yeah. of philosophical approach to wanting to make electronic sounds in real time, you know? Yeah, because what attracted me uh, in the beginning was like the world of possibilities, you know, like I felt it was completely infinite and, and it is in a way you're, you are limited by, I don't know, Techno technological uh, nerdy aspects of uh, building your own uh, electronic instruments but then like shortly after even though I wanted I still wanted to keep that world of possibilities like in hand and, and I, I love using devices like this like a small tablet in which you can have many synthesizer apps and or even your own uh, custom you know program things but uh, I still wanted to bring that world of possibilities, you know, to to the hands scope, to to the visual, you know, scope. Because um, sometimes it, it it just uh, as you were, you know, showing like it just looks like you are using <laughs> one finger to do like a million hmm. things. Um, and and uh, myself uh, playing, I, I sometimes miss the. No, I, I need to feel like uh, effort, you mm. know. Like uh, when I'm doing some feedback thing, I don't want to just turn up a knob and then it goes like a feedback really loud. Maybe I want to feel like the feedback, uh, like going through me and uh, like really pushing my strength to to do it, like you know, mm. like a, a rock star pushing yeah. the guitar against the the amp. You need and like really one of those like a grip moment. strength things. It's like a spring yeah. where you have to squeeze really yeah. hard. It's yeah. like, you know. I miss that. I think it adds something uh, somehow, you know. It, I, I don't think it's just a, a spiritual thing. I think mm. it's uh, an actual thing. I think it affects you as a, yeah. a musician. I don't think I've really seen very cool. much of like of that kind of stuff, like where something mm. is like um, physical resistance, but to mm. like an extreme sense, like where the instrument you have to like you know, it's like up for a bodybuilder or something. They're like, <laughs> you know, I mean, I can think of like yeah. someone like Stellark or something where he has like hooks and stuff. So that's like physically difficult to do. But like in terms of like a digital musical instrument, like I don't know if I've seen like that kind of thing where it's just like the, the stick yeah. weighs like 40 pounds. And I'm like, yeah, oh. <laughs> you know, just, you know, like all this kind of adding extra layers of friction to uh, as like a, as a thing to make visible. I, I don't remember the name of the composer, some Dutch composer um he so he had a bunch of piano pieces where i think it took he took like uh mozart whatever concertinas or whatever and um there was like a bunch of implements that would just act as resistance so like i think like strings or whatever and maybe part of the performance was it would apply more or less resistance to different parts so mm. you were supposed to try to play the piece but you were just being hindered so the the sounding result of the piece okay. was the original piece through the 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 filter of uh difficulty or well, mm -hmm. increased difficulty here where it's just like yeah. unable to do that so it's kind of an interesting idea that like the 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 thing being projected there is the difficulty not necessarily the material you know yeah i 
I, I didn't uh, look at through the difficulty scope, mm -hmm. but, but it is, uh, you could talk about difficulty uh, as part of this effort uh, mm. thing, I think, because when you have like a physical instrument, you you have to start to, to think about its weight and uh, learning how to, you know, do the posture thing that suddenly it's not like just, um, well, a program that you open and, mm. and uh, you are used to clicking things and, and uh, turning up uh, faders and everything. No, this is something you will need to learn because if your finger is slightly off, then um, it, you're not doing what you want to do in that moment. So, I don't know, kind of like relearning my, you know, my past experience with learning an instrument, but this time with something that's a bit more uh, um, <coughs> in the middle of <laughs> something that's real and something that's digi digital. I mean, it's real because it has a physical interface. Mm. But then there's the the digital, um, how do you say, the uh, digital, uh, like a barriers, hmm. different barriers you have to go through to refine it and make it feel each time more like a uh, an actual acoustic or real instrument. Uh, it's not that I'm super concerned about uh, making it so genuine in that <laughs> way because I still want to keep the you know, electronic and yeah. digital possibilities part of the thing. Um, but it's, uh, I also thought about a lot about uh, learnability. Uh, it couldn't be s that easy to just, you know, just use it, um, just pick it up and do like uh, eight notes. Uh, I didn't want it to feel like a toy, mm. you know. So the difficulty part, maybe, might be important to think about it further uh, and yeah to in terms of learnability because yeah. I think it plays a, an important part there like because then we could start talking about uh, learning your way through the instrument until you feel so comfortable uh, in a way you maybe you start doing things that there are like your trademark I don't know hmm. I don't think I'm anywhere near that point and I don't, I don't want to even talk about, you know, virtuosity and everything because, as I told you before, I think this is a long road, you know, to... I really want to share, like, this thing, this creation with other people. I want other people to play it, so it has to be a stable thing. Mm. Something that people, like, can pick up, feel its weight, feel that it's sturdy enough, you know, to endure hours of practice. Because uh, I think with practice comes also intimacy with uh, your instrument. And intimacy, I also believe it, it plays a great role in e expression, like uh, what you are doing when you are playing and uh, how... <laughs> how well people respond to, you know, what you are doing, not only musically, but expression-wise. It's not just uh, sound, it's uh, also like your effort, your body, mm. you know, feeling the tension of music and everything. Uh, makes me excited to, to think about <laughs> those <laughs> future possibilities. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Shall we, shall we play some more? Yeah. yeah. Let's...